Welcome to the NCIA, the Voice of the Cannabis Industry webinar. This webinar is a preview of the workshop coming up on June 20th, 2016 during the NCIA Cannabis Business Summit in Oakland, California. My name is Nurse Heather Manus and I'm the president of Genesis International Cannabis Solutions. Not only that, but I'm also a registered nurse. And my background is that I've been a medical director for producers in New Mexico since 2009. I'm also the founder and president of the Arizona Cannabis Nurses Association, the organization that's responsible for having post-traumatic stress disorder added to the list of qualifying conditions after having a two-year legal battle where we had to sue the state of Arizona Department of Health Services. I'm also currently the Sacred Garden of Santa Fe Medical Board member, and I'm also the host of Good News with Nurse Heather on CannabisRadio.com, as well as a contributor for Cannabis Nurses Magazine. In 2015, I was also a Canna Award winner for the Best Charitable and Community Outreach Program. It was a great honor. And today, we will be talking about cannabis nurses, the role of nursing in the cannabis industry. What is a cannabis nurse? Well, first of all, a cannabis nurse is not a 420 nurse. Cannabis nurses are highly trained and educated medical professionals with experience in medicine and in health care, and nurse, cannabis nurses also have an awareness of the endocannabinoid system and the benefits and risks associated with cannabinoid therapeutics. Cannabis nurses essentially assist in navigating patients through the world of cannabis medicine. The American Cannabis Nurses Association says that cannabis nurses understand that cannabis is a treatment within a continuum of care which involves interacting components like other drugs and treatments, the law, and the physiology of illness. They understand how to assist patients to navigate the medical system, how to guide them with accurate legal information, how to cultivate and maintain an attitude of respect and acceptance toward people who have been forced drug tested, rejected by ignorant clinicians, or forced to choose cannabis or opiates. So who is a cannabis nurse? Well, I am a cannabis nurse, and so are all of the other nurses in this photo. This photo will someday make history as it's the first class of cannabis nurses to receive a, certifi a certificate of competency and continued education in the core curriculum for cannabis nursing. I have since gone on to be a, a content contributor and presenter at the following workshops and online training platforms that have been provided by the American Cannabis Nurses Association. I am also currently serving on, as a director on the board as well as the Educational Outreach Committee Chairwoman. The importance of cannabis nurses is what we'll discuss next. First, it's important to note that year after year for the, for the last 14 years in a row, nurses have been deemed the number one most trusted profession in the United States. Cannabis nurses are in an interesting position where we are able to bridge the gap between the medical and cannabis industry communities. We can talk with other medical professionals, help them understand the science behind what we're doing, as well as working with patients who maybe don't even realize that they're receiving medical benefit from their cannabis use. Cannabis nurses are highly trained educators and valuable professional information resources. Who doesn't want to have a nurse on staff? We get our brains picked all the time, whether it's a scrape on the knee or someone who's actually having difficulty breathing. Cannabis nurses are highly trained. We are great at educating patients, other medical professionals, and caregivers 
as well as the general public about cannabis, the endocannabinoid system, and the proper uses of cannabis as medicine. Cannabis nurses understand the complexity related to disease processes and the effects on daily living and aging. For example, if you're just if you have a bud tender in your dispensary and and a patient walks in with a with a um, walker and it's an older gentleman and he and he's stumbling and kind of having difficulty the bud tender may look at this patient and just see an old man that's having a hard time that day where a nurse will understand that we need to be careful about use of edibles because this patient is already a fall risk we need to make sure when we do educating that we give them written materials because their hearing is not going to be very good and their memory may not be that well also. We may want to use lozenges or some other form or method of administration to assist this gentleman. A normal everyday bud tender that's not a medical professional may miss some of these very important details that can help this patient better seek therapy through their cannabis. The same can be said if an MS patient comes in in a wheelchair. Um, a bud tender may see this person as a patient in a wheelchair, where as a nurse we look at this patient and know that we need to have products that will be easy to handle and easy to open due to dexterity issues. We also will understand that this patient is going to need topical applications to help the patient sleep through the night and so that they can rub this on their legs and help with spasms, one of the main issues and concerns and complaints of MS patients. Uh, next, we have cannabis nurses are able to develop these therapeutic relationships with patients and recommend the appropriate products. As I just stated, that was two examples of how a cannabis nurse can help a patient with the appropriate products and when a patient feels that they are being taken care of and they know that they can trust the people at a dispensary, they're going to be coming back there because that relationship, therapeutic relationship has now been formed. Myself personally, I've had patients not only follow me from dispensary to dispensary, but also from state to state. So never underestimate the power of therapeutic relationships between patients and nurses. Cannabis nurses increase patient retention and data collection for dispensaries. You can look at this in many different ways. First of all, just like a patient will seek their physician and go back over and over to see their doctor because they trust them and they know them, patients will do the same thing if there is a nurse or even just a really great staff at a dispensary. It's interesting to note, too, that nurses, because of our ability to case manage and to document and organize, that we can be very beneficial in data collection that can be used by a certain dispensary to see their growth and to see their needs and to figure out how to be better and do better. Another important thing to note is that doctors who are aware that patients that, that there are nurses at dispensaries, they are more than willing to send their patients to those dispensaries. And in fact, it makes them feel more comfortable knowing that there is another medical professional on the other end where the patient will be receiving their medicine, very much similar to how they would be receiving their medicine from a, from a pharmacy. And basically, the bottom line is cannabis nurses are good for patients and good for business. So how do we involve cannabis nurses into our businesses. I have a few considerations for when you're thinking about hiring a cannabis nurse. First, you'll want to look at their medical background, specialty, or work history. What kind of nurse or medical professional is this? Do they come from a surgical background? Do they come from oncology, psychiatry, pediatrics, hospice? Have they been a charge nurse or in case management? What is their background? Because nurses do many, many, many things in the medical field. You'll also want to know the depth of knowledge regarding the endocannabinoid system, how, what, the, what the nurse's depth of knowledge is regarding the endocannabinoid system and cannabinoid therapeutics. Have they ever been to a patient's out-of-time conference? Have they received 
certification through the American Cannabis Nurses Association? Do they have these basic skills of from the core curriculum of cannabis nursing? Have they gone on to do the advanced curriculum beyond the basics? You'll want to know these things. And also you'll want to ask and pull these nurses to find what is their desired position or area of focus within the cannabis industry. They may want to step out of the box and be creative and create products or manufacture. They may really want to come in and help organize and be more organizational. They may want to be an owner. They may want to get into cultivation, patient care, retail, case management. They may want to be soup in a supervisory position or upper management. Current pay and financial expectations are going to be something that you really want to find out about from your nurse. View your nurses as an investment rather than an expense. There's a dispensary in Albuquerque, New Mexico that has taken nurses and given them the exact same pay and benefits they were receiving at the hospital. And this nurse has practically cleared a floor by hiring other nurses. She owns the dispensary and she's also employing nurses. They said that they've seen an increase in their patient retention and their bottom line upwards of two, three hundred percent in the last year since they've had so many nurses on board. So it's really important to take care of your nurse and your nurse will take care of you, your patients, your employees, and your, and your financial investments. In conclusion, qualified cannabis nurses will absolutely impact your business and bottom line in a very positive way. I look forward to seeing you at the third annual NCIA Cannabis Business Summit in Oakland, California where I will be presenting during the workshop on Cannabis Nurses on June 20th, 2016 from 9.30 till noon. We'll see you there.